All right, we're going to continue right. on with the next Let's go. section of the minecart chase. You know, I wouldn't do this after how it almost was disastrous, you know. Last time, I'd maybe walk it. <laughs> but, you know, what the hell do I know? How the hell are you still alive, you crazy fuck? <laughs> Never gets old. <laughs> One bullet will take out that barricade. <laughs> oh, we're outside now. Hey, the cart's tipping over. It's fine. Quit being a wuss. I would have stopped it now and walked. <laughs> All right, Leon, don't listen to me. When is this motherfucker going to die? At some point, I expect this motherfucker to die. Maybe next time they'll make the <laughs> be a little safer with their design of this thing. Yes, this works. Yeah, we're all right. We survived. No way. Give me a break. You know, we can make it if we circle around. Come you can on. make it here. Pain in my ass. This beam here is sturdy enough that you could just sort of walk your way across. But fuck it, we'll go the hard way. Because video game logic. Whatever. Go the long way. Ah, oh, shit, there's a bug. Ah, shit. Stay sharp. These guys have 
Camouflage. Yeah, I know. I spotted it before you did. Hoping to not. Ah, eh, whatever, it's fine. Luis's gun doesn't do nearly the damage that Leon's does. Like, one or two good shots with Leon's pistol will put these things down. With uh, Luis's gun, though. His melee doesn't seem to do as much damage either. But one or two good shots with Leon's pistol will put these things down. One good shot to the face will put him down. Luis, though, like, it's throwing me off. The amount of damage he's inflicting and the amount of times he's hitting them, it feels like you should be doing, he should be doing more damage. I guess I can't have him be too helpful. Oh, you fucker. Shit, my body armor. Yeah, I, I launched the arrow off into the oblivion there. <laughs> and these things, like, it's, it's hard to tell when they stop attacking, when they should stop attacking. Because they seem like they, they just spawn more in the monster closets, you know? And there'll be more here. Of course there will be. I hate insects. Yeah, Take I know. Care of them for me, would ya? There's one right there. How about you open fire instead of your mouth? Hey, I'm the brains. You're the brawn. Huh. Well, there was one hidden there. Where are the rest? There's one. I should go back around before I move on too far. Make sure I didn't forget anything. Even though they're bugs, I wonder, does Sadler have, like, direct control over him like he does the rest of the Ganados? I don't know. Let me get my arrow back. Okay. Something I had briefly mentioned before. There was a pretty big change to the way a lot of the Resident Evil games played in certain respects. I mean, not the... Just the... Fuck. Stabby stab stab. What I had mentioned it was in reference to... The fact that in the earlier games, it was always possible, unless you got locked into a boss room or something like that, that you could turn around and retreat back to something like an item box and potentially just sort of pull out different weapons and all that kind of stuff. Destroy all entrances to the hive, huh? Entrances to the hive... Where are the entrances to the hive? In this game, however, you can get locked. You more likely to like have story beats occur, and your character Leon gets pulled away and simply unable to um, unable to retreat back to an item box. So you might potentially be 
locked into a really tough situation. Hold on, I'm going to look this up. I want to know what they're talking about here. All right, I looked it up. It's They're in here somewhere. These are the hives. And you want to just pop a couple of rounds into them. And it prevents these things from uh, respawning. Where are the other two? But anyway, what I was saying was the... You fuckers. Where are... Is the other one up there still? Yeah. Maybe I'm not in the best angle for this. There we go. Mission accomplished. But the game will lock you off at Story Beach, preventing you from retreating. But that's also resulted in a pretty significant change in the way that the levels are laid out. You see, Resident Evil 1, Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, even Code Veronica, Resident Evil Zero, the games don't occupy an enormous space in the game world. It's actually pretty small, the space that they occupy. But the way that the levels were designed, you have a lot of backtracking, moving across the same area over and over again because you have these puzzles you need to complete. And that was just sort of an intrinsic design of Resident Evil. Now you get to Resident Evil 4, and all of a sudden it's different. You're not backtracking so much anymore. You are... I mean, there is some small amount of backtracking, but it's really not anything like what you saw in the earlier games. Instead, you're more or less moving on a rather linear path from the beginning to the end of the game, and uh, it's different. It doesn't feel like what Resident Evil is. So I get you're going to see changes, gameplay styling and all that. It's just the nature of game progression. Uh, come down here. Hey, I said come down here. Hello. Any more of you? This is bolt just in the air. <laughs> you know, I thought it was going to stop them from respawning. They're everywhere. Whatever. I'm just bitching. Hello. I see you took care of a request. Well done. <laughs> Good stuff, stranger. Now I only got, got four, new so it's not order. enough. That's only half as. Well, I need three more to get the TMP stock. What's that? That's my next How goal. Have we procured these curiosities? <laughs> you don't. A deal well pleasant trap. Oh, Welcome. I need to repair. Good luck to you, stranger. Well, don't get yourself killed now. <laughs> Was there anything in there to pick up? Nah. All this just just across this section right here. <laughs> appreciate tech like this. I don't get you. Why risk your life like this? You don't know us. 
I told you. It makes me feel better. Be straight with me for once. Los Illuminados. I was working for them. See, si, there you go. Helping the two of you doesn't make up for it. I know that. But still, I don't want anyone else to get hurt. In that case, you better get serious. <laughs> Harsh words for a squire. We're out of that hellhole. The fresh air is calling our names. For free. Gus, we made it all this way. You know it means we're almost... Almost what? Major Krauser? What the hell? Why? Recovering stolen goods. And killing a few rats along the way. Easy work. Ashley, it was oh, you. You catch on quick. Didn't I teach you? Knives are faster. <laughs> <laughs> nothing to do with them. I'm a free man who made a choice. Major, you're not thinking straight. <laughs> oh, my mind's clearer than it's ever been. Now focus. Show me what you got. You know, I. Krauser was a weird character in the original game. You've forgotten what happened years ago. Operation Javier. Operation Javier. My entire government. Our own government let it happen. So his character in the original game just he was a douchebag that was working for Wesker, but was pretending to work for Sadler and was just trying to steal the parasite. Just seemed like a greedy character who was just in it for the money. And, uh, oh, you fucker. Whoops. I've always kind of said that. Uh, as far as character motivations go, Avarice is always the weakest of motivations. Somebody who's just in it for the money, or in it for greed, or whatever, is not a character that... Oh, what the fuck happened? That's the... That's got me all fucked up. This is uh, uh, this is definitely better than the stupid uh, QTE fest in the original game, but uh, you know. Fuck. You know, once that stupid uh, camera fucked up, it, it messed me up. <laughs> It messed up my timing, I don't know. Are you being controlled by that cult? This has nothing to do with them. I'm a free man who made a choice. Major, 
You're not thinking straight. <laughs> oh, my mind's clearer than it's ever been. Now focus and show me what you got. Oh, soldier like you. Why would you work for these freaks? Huh. Why? Have you forgotten what happened years ago? Operation Javier. Oops. Operation Javier. My entire unit wiped out. Our own government flooded out. That all you got? They killed us all without honor, without mercy. Only devastating power. What's wrong? I see myself. Krauser. understand what happened was unforgivable but that doesn't give you the right to hurt innocent people enough play rookie you haven't changed a damn bit. <laughs> what a disappointment. <laughs> Not looking good, eh, my friend? And such a loss to the ladies of the world. Don't talk. Take this. The key to my laboratory. Go there and remove those damn parasites. <coughs> Help. Ashley. <coughs> you know, I led a pretty shitty life. But now, eh? <clears throat> what do you think, Leon? People can change, right? Chapter end. All right, it's just uh, I had to stop talking because I couldn't concentrate on the game. Krauser was a character who felt like a weird tack on in the original Resident Evil Four. Like they needed to create a new villain after a certain period of time. Like uh, Salazar was gone and the big dude was gone, and you couldn't rush forward and take on Sadler yet. They had to stick another villain in your way, so they sort of introduced him kind of late and had him just be another enemy. But he was supposed to be somebody who had a previous connection with Leon, but it wasn't, like, fleshed out what any of that meant. It didn't, it didn't seem to be, um, have any connection to the story, but they were implying that there was a connection with Leon. And, you know, I get you can do something like that, but... Have, like, just sort of imply a connection between people and not really, not really, um, flesh it out. But it just felt weird in this case. And Krauser was sort of like a, a double agent anyway. So he was working for Sadler, but he was really working for Wesker. But, uh, Sadler didn't trust him, probably because he was American. And... And he was, he was working alongside Ada instead of, you know, against her. So it, it was kind of, uh, they made a pretty big change to him here. And they, they removed the fact that he was just working for the money or working for Wesker. Loyalty to Wesker, whether it was because of money or whatever goals or whatever. It always seemed like it was just, he was a hired gun. This version of Krauser is more of... 
I'd say he's more of a fleshed out character because instead of they remove the whole Wesker connection with this version of Krauser completely. And he is loyal to Sadler and it's about power. It's not about greed. It's not about money. It's about power. And it's not even about revenge for him. He just saw that Sadler could give him power and he's all in on that. He is loyal to Sadler. Unfortunately, I think the voice acting for this version of Krauser seems off. It doesn't sound right. It sounds a little too fake, a little too forced. Overall, the voice acting in this game is pretty good, but I'd say Krauser is a disappointment, and there's definitely something wrong with Ada's performance here. She comes across strangely emotionless, like it's like it's a robot. Anyway, whatever way. The, uh, episode's over.